Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Steve Drinks Out of a Cup on the 3MS Network and today, as ever, drinking tea Why are we even surprised? I should really just call this Steve Drinks Tea Out of a Cup But yeah, it had come to my attention that I hadn't uploaded one in a while and I really thought I'd actually done this one so, even though it is 20 past 11 at night, and I've got a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in the morning, so I really shouldn't be up still, I'm going to do one for you guys. And this is actually one I've tried before, but I really, 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 really like it a lot. And so, I'm going to review it anyway. Just so you know, already I like it a lot, so it's going to be a bit biased. What can I do? The whole point of this is to review tea. Usually I try to do instant reactions as I taste them for the first time, but that's not possible here because I've had this one a lot because I really like it. But it is Twining's Gingerbread and it's one of those ones that it's along with the fudge melts and the salted caramel and the cherry bakewell ones the four, the these four green teas that in supermarkets they're often together. Um, I get them co-op because they're often two for four pounds um, on different flavors. So I often get get them all for eight pound, and then we go there we go plenty of tea forever. <laughs> but I do have a lot of tea to get through in the coming times, especially since Andy sent me a whole bunch. Uh, Popcorn tea sent me, orangery of Lady Grey, a bunch of fruity ones. And then there's ones I have got myself that I still need to do. But yeah, I'm going to get onto this gingerbread one now. Uh, really, I'm just killing time because I've just finished brewing it and it needs time to settle. So, just to set up the thing, Twinings gingerbread tea. And with that's with. As it's been two minutes and I haven't even started to drink it yet. Yeah. So, it's over here. I always keep it right behind the camera. That's, that's, that's why I didn't upload. I remember why I didn't upload the video of. Uh, I did aim to record this one. But we'll have a bit of a funny story about this. I was going to record this, but I brewed the tea. I brewed the cup of tea and I was trying to get my camera to work and the camera for some reason wasn't working properly and idiot that I am I put it I put my tea cup right in front of my fan because I'm an idiot so by the time I got my camera working my tea had gone freezing so yeah so that's what happened so yeah haven't done that this time because my fan is still in my bag from work. So we actually have a hot cup of gingerbread tea to have. So yeah, proof positive if you didn't realize from, from Vanilla and Peas that I'm a complete and utter moron. So here we go. Here is my gingerbread tea, which as we know, I'm already quite a big fan of. Mm. Oh, hello. Ah. Ah. You ever put something in your mouth so heavenly? Don't even start. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is really good. And the thing I like about it is that not only does it taste, not only does it obviously it taste like tea because it is tea, but it gives a very strong tang of gingerbread. You know like when you eat ginger ginger nut biscuits? I don't know if, if any other country has these ginger nut biscuits. We have them a lot. They're really, really nice. But if you get ginger nut biscuits and when you have them they leave that aftertaste. That is the exact aftertaste that this tea leaves and it is brilliant. And it, it, it leaves that sort of sting in the back of your tongue for a second and oh my god. But yeah, it's so wonderful, 
so wonderful and this is this is actually one of my favorite teas that I've ever had um, so it's well worth getting this one if you're if you're a fan of of, of green tea and like I said and it, it again just like any other tea it depends on uh, if you like the source flavor um, so yeah there's always that but when it comes to these cake flavored ones and sweet flavored ones you know you can't really go wrong with them but this one is by far of, of the four like cakey like the four I mentioned before that always come together this is definitely my favorite of the four of those which was a surprise considering fudge melts is in there but this is definitely by far and away my favorite tea out of those four green teas um, I do have other tea that I've had that I like almost as much, maybe more than this that I will get on to, but this is by far one of my favourite teas that I have ever had. So yeah, I'm going to finish this and I'm going to go to bed. I have a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament in the morning so I'd love it if you could wish me luck down below. Thank you, Invasion Vengeance, Sneak Preview Weekend, try and get a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon for a friend of mine. Shout out to my friends Becca and Mana who essentially wanted to see this one specifically. I will be back with another episode of Steve Drinks Out of a Cup in the next few days along with other videos starting very soon which myself and Andy discussed on Vanilla and Peas recording episode 21 to d we recorded today which will be up very soon. Um, it, and that involves a new Let's Play by me! And Andy will be up back with episode 6 of Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke on Tuesday. So until then, see you guys later.